we have arrived at Minnesota Key Beach. Supposedly, this is a great beach for finding shark teeth. There are several beaches in Florida that are known for having lots of fossilized shark teeth. When we learned that we'd be staying near some of these beaches, we couldn't pass up the opportunity to come and search. So we've got everyone in the water. We're gonna get looking, find some. I don't know what it is about finding fossils and shells that's so magical, but it's never lost its charm for me. It's just as exciting today as when I was a little kid. I mean, come on, shark teeth. Maybe it's because they're sharks, the apex predators of the sea. Or maybe it's the thought of striking it rich by finding a particularly rare specimen. Whatever the case, we wasted no time in beginning the hunt. Oh yeah, look at that. Tiny little shark tooth. That's awesome, Emma. Minnesota Key Beach is known for being a particularly good place for finding shark teeth. It's just down the coast from Venice, Florida, which is known as the shark tooth capital of the world. The coast in this area is shallow and has thick fossil beds that were built up over millions of years. As the ocean's waves erode these fossil layers, they deposit fossils on the beaches. There's no shortage of them either. Sharks can lose 50,000 teeth in their lifetime, and Florida had a lot of sharks. There are many different types of shark teeth to be found, including mako, tiger, bull, great white, as well as many others. It's even possible to find teeth from the infamous megalodon, king of the sharks. All right, so we've been hunting for a while, and uh, we've got pretty good haul so far. Here's what we found so far. <laughs> got some good shark teeth right here. Found these cool shells. I actually got bored looking for shark teeth, and so we swam out into the deep area, and that's where we found these cool shells. But yeah, gonna keep searching. fun morning looking for shark teeth. We've found quite a few shark teeth, so I'm excited to look over them, take them home, see what we got. Get that sand off. So a lot of people bring like these sifter things to sift out the shark teeth that they're finding, um, but I just brought a snorkel mask and just floated at the tide line and I was just picking them up in handfuls, like literally floating for five minutes, I had a huge handful of shark teeth. So I don't know, I mean, do what works for you, but I'm excited to get these home and check them out. Finding shark teeth was super fun. And when we got back home, we spread them out to look at our treasures. I found some pretty good ones. And on some of the teeth, you can still see the serrated edges. Many of the ones I had picked up though, were either broken or very worn down, but they're still cool. 
I also had picked up this thing, which I later identified as a fossilized horse tooth. Overall, it was a great little adventure, and I can't wait to go again in the future. Next time, though, I'm hoping for a megalodon tooth. All right, that is it for this adventure. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along on our million adventures. See you later.